Oh, 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 Chasra, you're completely falling for it. This is a nice one. This is a nice... I mean, it's a nice trial that's from... Um, I don't even know who invented that example. I mean, Chosro, you should have tried that. You should have tried that. You didn't even try something else. Three six nine could be Fibonacci. How it's his final answer again. <clears throat> yeah, Ninja is here. That is the that is the the thing you should learn from this game. Ninja is ruining it. Ninja is ruining it. I mean, Shastra did do the normal thing that you have learned not to do. <clears throat> All right, the moon page. The moon page. What do we have on the moon page? Yeah, most people will probably get this wrong. I mean, most people do not need to use this kind of logic in their everyday life. So we have... Nine squares with lines and dots and each side lined by... Is it always the same number of letters? That's the first thing we're going to look. It seems it's always seven letters. Seven letters. Total of... I don't know, we need that. Nine times 49 equals... A lot of letters. A lot of letters. So that's actually 451 letters. Uh, I know my moon runes. Well, we'll see about the moon runes here. So, let's try to find every letter first. An A, I spot an A. A B, I spot a B. A C, I spot a C. A D. I spot a D. An E, yes, there's an E. An F. <clears throat> there's an F. A G, an H, is there an H? H, yeah. I, yep, J, yep, K, yep, L, um, L, yes, M, yes, N, yes, O, O, yes, P, yes, Q, yes, R, yes, S, yes. It's probably all of them, I'm just checking. S, T, U, ah, V is interesting. V was sometimes missing. But we do have V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, all the letters appear. 
All the letters are pure. Each. Oh, my hands are getting cold. Common problem in Japan. Um, hmm. So, okay, let's read the text before we look further at these diagrams. The diagrams are all different. Um, there's not even one that's just a mirror symmetry of another one. <clears throat> and they have these symbols inside. This is like two, four, six, and eight dots connected in some weird way. Let's text in green the substitution will reveal and lift this thrice great seal. I have no idea. First, find Cleopatra's gold. Now I want to play Cleopatra. Next, a secret the Sphinx does hold. Seek Panopolis. Sun, but no. It ends with a fire below. Okay, these feel like four different types of hints. Let's have a look at what we're actually trying to translate. We have a a text that is just a cipher text. There's a game on stream called The Devil's Calculator, which is about figuring out the mathematical functions from experimenting on their behavior. Ugh. Okay, we have letters. It looks like a letter cipher. But... It's not obviously split into, like, different parts. The thrice... Thrice great seal, though. That that implies that maybe we need three keys. Okay, let's figure out Panopolis. I have no idea who Panopolis is. Panopolis might be a city, because it has polos. And there's Zosimos of Panopolis. Zosimos of Panopolis, also known as the Latin name Zosimos Alchemista, Zosimos the Alchemist. Well, that already sounds like the one we're looking for. A Greco Egyptian alchemist and Gnostic mystic who lived at the end of the 3rd and beginning of the 4th century AD. He was born in Panopolis, present day Achmin in the south of Roman Egypt. 
Huh, probably near Dunkle Oasis. But let, should we check? No, I think Dunkle was... Dunkle was here, right? Uncle Oasis. Near us one. So yeah, that's that's very far away. That's not sadly not near Dunko. I predict Alpha booting up Pharaoh after this stream. Well, I'm already i I'm already feeling the urge to play more Pharaoh, but it, I'm probably not gonna do it um this week because I I wouldn't be able to play or stream it much. Okay, so, Zosimos, what did you do, Zosimos? Um, <clears throat> Zosimos is indeed a seven-letter word. That's already a pretty good sign. Zosimos. Let's just write this here. Zosimos. Okay, next we need Cleopatra's gold. Cleopatra. Well, not the film. The Berlin Cleopatra. Well, um, what about her gold? Oh, a nice picture. The meeting of Cleopatra and Mark Antony. Okay, donations to Alexandria. I mean, this is her history. guy called Goldsworth, he had wrote a lot about it. Okay. A secret to Sphinx holds. Hmm. I don't think Secret of the Sphinx is gonna give me much, but we can try. Yeah, that's a film.
text in green the substitution will reveal. The operator's gold is not really ringing a bell right now for me. Another substitution? Well... I mean, we have so many letters on the top left, I would hope there... There are some more ciphers. Um, famous historical ciphers. Oh no, I actually do want to keep the code open. Okay, let's first close all the other windows that I don't need. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. Nope. 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 I need you. Or oh, Zosimos, maybe. Okay, well. Um, is there anything that looks like these, um, square cipher or something? Not really. The thrice great seal. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, Hermes Trismegistus, yeah. That is a famous alchemical thingy. Hermes the Thrice Greatest is a legendary Hellenistic figure that originates a syncretic combination of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian god Thought. Um, he's purported author of the Hermetica, a widely diverse series of ancient and medieval pseudographical texts. Pseudo, pseudepigraphical pseud texts that lay the basis of various philosophical systems known as Hermeticism. The epithet the thrice great. Foden asserts that the datable occurrence. Many Christian writers saw him a wise pagan. Hermes Trismegistus was either contemporary of Moses or third in the line of a man named Hermes. Okay. Um, this doesn't fully solve our problem here. The triangles with the lines remind me of alchemical elements. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at those as well. I'm looking at these smaller ones though. Okay, one thing. Let's 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 zoom all in now. Let's let's check things out in detail here. Can I zoom in here? 
I cannot, so let's just make this. I shall use our friend Paint Net. Okay, let's look. I know this is ugly, but this could be the letter D V B A because this this thing is signifying something. Like these dots are not aligned with something. But the point where they all intersect, that one is aligned, right? Similarly here, they're all in the center. And it's X and K and... Uh, actually, these letters are not... There's bad kerning on these letters. Ugh. Not kerning, sorry. They're not an ISO... How do you call fonts that have, like, the same spacing? Well, it's not that kind of font where every letter has the same spacing. So, this R actually should be in the middle, but it's not. And this U should be in the middle. Similarly here... No, these look like they're geometrically located somewhere, not aligned with the letters. Yeah, especially this one. This one would just be nothing. This one doesn't even work with what I'm, I'm, I thought we should do. Oops. Uh, I actually don't want you to be... Okay, I, I moved around the image instead of zooming in and out. Yeah, not clear yet what to do with either of these things. Not clear yet. So the first weird thing is text in green. Any of this green? Does this look green to anybody? If we zoom in, are any of these pixels green? Which, by the way, I do not think is uh, at all how you're supposed to look at this, so... Yeah, there's, there's no green pixels here. Also, once again, I'm moving the image instead of zooming around the image. Okay, next. Probably a hint. Yeah, it must be a hint. Text in green, the substitution will reveal. And we need hermetic writings. Hermetica. Okay, let's try Hermetic Cipher or something. Mm. No, no, that doesn't look good.
But this is, finally enough, this is all Egypt-related, right? Cleopatra, Sphinx, Panopolis. But then it ends with a fire below, so... Hmm. Thrice Great Seal is also related to ancient... Like, Hermeticism is very old. Some of these other chapters have had references to modern types, like modern, I say like 15th century type um, alchemy and cryptography. Um, but this part is now referencing very old stuff uh, with Hermeticism and Egypt. Hmm. Uh, I need to turn on the heating one second here. It is not warm enough here. Okay, so Hermeticus, Hermeticus, Christ's Great Seal probably means something with Hermeticism. thing is like I'm thinking that um, if I look at some of these pictures on the top left uh, oh they look like there's like a pyramid here so I'm like oh the connection to Egypt is something with this pyramid but I, I, I hope that's not it I almost wonder if, if there can even be a way that these shapes matter like it would have to be a very simple way wouldn't it Text in green, the substitution will reveal. Text in green. Hmm. Let's let's look if there's a green cipher. There's a green. No, that's a geek code. Olivia Cipher. No, we've tried Polybia Cipher before. That just turns text into numbers. We don't want to turn text into numbers. pretty stuck early here we're pretty stuck early we all the only thing i'm kind of sure of is that the, the son of panopolis is zosimos a secret of the sphinx hermeticus sphinx maybe there's a connection there hieroglyphic sphinx Athanasius Kircher. Oh, there's Kircher again. We've heard that name before. And the Hieroglyphic Sphinx. More than 170 years before Jean-Francois Champollion had the first real success in translating Egyptian hieroglyphs, the 17th century Jesuit scholar Athanasius Kircher was convinced he had cracked it. He was very wrong. Kircher's Egyptian Oedipus, a book that has been called one of the most learned monstrosities of all time. Oedipus Egypticus. Egyptian Oedipus. 
With this title, the Jesuit scholar characteristically paid honor to himself. Like Oedipus answering the riddle of the Sphinx, Kircher believed he had solved the enigma of the hieroglyphs. Together with its companion volume, Pamphylian Obolus, Kircher's magnum opus presented Latin translations of hieroglyphic inscriptions, utterly mistaken as post-Rosetta Stone Egyptology would reveal, preceded by treatises on ancient Egyptian history, the origins of idolatry, allegorical and symbolic wisdom, and numerous non-Egyptian textual traditions that supposedly preserved elements of the hieroglyphic doctrine. In addition to ancient Greek and Latin authors, Kirchia's vast array of sources included texts in Oriental languages including Hebrew, Arabic, Aramaic, Coptic, Samaritan, and Ethiopian, as well as archaeological evidence. The resulting amalgam is without doubt impressive but it can also be wilder. Um, the book contained extensive discussions of topics such as pagan religion from Mexico to Japan. Now, now I really want to read this book. At the dawn of time, Kircher explained, Adam, instructed by God and the angels and guided by the experience acquired during his centuries-spanning life, possessed perfect wisdom, which he passed on to his children. Noah and his sons preserved antediluvian knowledge from destruction by the flood, which Kircher placed 1656 years after the creation of the world and 2394 years before the birth of Christ. But Noah's son, Ham, polluted the Adamic wisdom with magic and superstition. Eventually, the great Egyptian sage, ah, oh, so it's always thought he's Egyptian, Hermes Trismegistus, recovered the pure antediluvian wisdom and invented hieroglyphic writing to preserve it for posteriority. But later, Egyptian priests mixed the hermetic wisdom with magic, creating yet again an ambiguous legacy. Okay, let's look at this book. We, we want to we wanna look at this book now. Egyptian Oedipus. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's zipped though. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ! This download is slow. Okay, let's download this while we think about other things. Let's look at Hermetic Trismegistus. Okay, we're really not getting anywhere here with, uh, with the usual. Oh, Jesus Christ, this download is very slow. Is there another download? Text in green. The substitution will reveal. So this this implies yeah that it is a substitution, as Carrier already pointed out a while ago. 
and lift this thrice great seal. But does it even make sense to have a thrice, like... If it's just a substitution cipher, that is a bit disappointing. How would we do this? So they all have 28 letters around each square. That's two letters too many to be like a substitution alphabet, huh? look at the, the let's look at what we're trying to do next we always do that after a while we look at the look at the hints that we have here all right so the text is G T P V T J W S Z S E E Y O S C N D S P M S I P R R C W S U P H E S W P S H Z Y C H S S U E T S N Okay. Um So do I just attack this or do I do I try to do it? Like it looks so cool though. I don't want to just attack this. I don't want to just attack this. It does look kind of cool. I would like to do at least something here. I'd like to do at least something here. We have the book yet. We almost have the book. I think I got something, but it's really far-fetched. Well, far-fetched is what we do on this stream.
actually gonna send you a picture. Okay, where are you sending it? On Discord? As above, so below is a popular modern paraphrase. The Emerald Tablet. Ah, the Emerald Tablet. Well, that makes sense. Emerald Tablet. Yeah, Emerald Tablet really sounds like... That is something. Hey. Oh, what, is, what is it? Um, this text in green will reveal this. Oh, God. Uh, give me one minute.
Alright, excuse me. So Um What 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 have we found out now with the tablet? It's a compact cryptic hermetic text. It was highly regarded by Islamic and European alchemists as the foundation of their art. Though attributed to the legendary Hellenistic figure Her Hermes Trismegistus, the text of the Emerald Tablet first appears in a number of early medieval Arabic sources. It was translated into Latin several times in the 12th and 13th centuries. Numerous interpretations and commentaries followed. Heinrich Kunrad as well. Text in green. The substitution will reveal. Ah, I think I think I understand. The question is which text in green, though. Hmm. Okay, let's count letters. Letter counter. Let's, let's count roughly how many these are. Oh, these are a thousand, okay. That is more characters than we need. We need less. Hmm. Take a look at the picture again. Oh, I don't see anything else. It's above, so below. Yeah, that's the first line. Maybe you don't speak Latin, but this is what it says. Superioria de inferioribus, inferioria de superioribus. What is up is... The highest of the lows, the lows through the la no, through the highest of the lowest, and through the lowest of the highest, and so forth and so forth. And 
And here's the other one. Which That which is above is like that which is below. Well, let's read the text. I guess maybe you want me to read the text. So this translation reads, that it, true it is, without fault, so certain and most true. That which is above is like that to that which is below, and that which is below is like that to which is above, to accomplish the miracles of one thing. And as all things were by contemplation of one, so all things arose from this one thing by a single act of adaptation. The father thereof is the sun, the mother the moon, the wind carried in its womb, the earth is the nurse thereof, it is the father of all works, Ah, you just want to say it is a cipher where, like, the, we just swap these letters. Yeah, it's possible. Um. But I already looked because it, it's weird, though. Because, for example, M and M, like, look at some of these here. Like here, let's look at the upper one here. We have M goes to O and then M goes to C. And then X goes to J, X goes to J, that's fine. But these are not fully... These are not fully mix matching. So yeah, maybe there's something with like um, substituting these into each other. But what do we do? What do we do get? What do we get then? What do we get then? That which is above is like below and so forth. Hmm. The father is the sun, the mother the moon, the wind carried in its womb, the earth is the nurse thereof. It is the father of all works of wonder throughout the whole world. Um, the power thereof is perfect. If it cast if it be cast onto earth, it will separate the element of earth from that of fire, the subtle from the gross. With great sagacity it doth ascend gently from earth to heaven. Again it doth descend to earth, and uniteth in itself the force from things superior and things inferior. Thus thou wilt possess the glory of the brightness of the whole world, and all obscurity will fly far from thee. This thing is a strong fortitude of all strength, for it overcometh every subtle thing, and doth pen penetrate every solid substance. Thus was this world created. Hence will there be marvelous adaptations achieved, of which the manner is this. For this I am called Hermes Trismegistus, because I hold three parts of the wisdom of the whole world. That which I had to say about the operation of soul is completed. Okay. Alright, you, you want to say K should become X, and S should become E. Um, but in what order are we to read this? Because there's no, there's three, there's like nine squares. Which ones do we pick? Okay, there should be one where it says Zosimos or something like that. Let's see if we can find Zosimos. Oh, you have a Z. No, we can't write Zosimos with these. We can't write Zosimos with these. Hmm. Oh, there's Zosimos. Oh, it's even written here. I didn't even see it. Oh, you guys are not seeing where I'm pointing my mouse because it's the wrong window, I mean. No, you are seeing my mouse. Here, Zosimos. I didn't even see it. 
it does actually say Zosimos here. Which is weird because it's not written. It's uh I don't know what to do with that actually. Okay. That means these other words are actual words. Some of them are actual words. So let's find out what which ones are real words. Hefebuffel. That could be a real word, right? Hefe buffer. Nope. Um Velksoja. No, it's it's giving me it's giving me some oh god, there was some alchemia discussion. Minus alchemia. Um Elk soya. Um. I'm not seeing where Velk soya here is. I think that's probably just a PDF transcription error. Uh, what are some other words that are maybe true? I think there's a there's an image of a swing. It says a secret the Sphinx does hold. So now I think there must be a famous image where the Sphinx is just holding some tablet in its hand or it has some inscription in its hand. Like literally holding. Also um let's let's, let's not get distracted. Maybe in this book after all. Now Cleopatra's gold could be like uh, some reference to Octavianus. Let me just look if there's anywhere. Kshturbo, no. Even reverse, that's nothing. Hefeboro, Arfobo, Hef, no. Arsparpe, Rspare, Rsparpe. Ses vip ok vujim velox velk soya a yoxlef would have been reverse pulket si R H H F O S M F no. 
QSZS Cyan. But sets no these, these all have like too many consonants. There's Zosimos. Kyukatsau. Yeah, that's just letters. Titeji Avium. Avium! Isn't Avium a city? No, Avium is just uh, off birds or something. No, that's Avis. I have no idea. Titegi doesn't seem to be anything. Maybe a reverse Kmu Eva. Oh, there's Kiva, but I don't think that's where she. That where she heard this. Avian of birds. Well, in Latin, Avis is of birds. So. Mm. Avian is only the English version. And this is. We're looking for something with Cleopatra. Um, And the last one also, why would there only be Zosimos? Okay, let's mark this. I don't know. I, I have no idea what exactly we're marking this for, but let's mark this. Let's mark this here. That Zosimos is there. Zozoma? Where is Zozoma? I don't see a Zozoma. Okay, I'm not gonna worry then. So maybe this says um, maybe we don't have to find the other words because it does literally say first seek Anopus sun, but no, it ends with a fire below. We do have Zosimus now. As above, so below, said, said Chos Rao. I haven't played this game. Are guesses allowed? Yes, guesses are allowed. A volcano has fire below. Mean like the volcano image here? Okay, let's look at this image. Maybe the author seems to like these images, but is there a sphinx somewhere on this image? this even oh it's like a fishing trap with like a net at the end well oh, that must have been awful to maintain in those days Hmm. 
Ah, okay, first find Cleopatra's gold. I have to find Cleopatra's gold. Gold of Cleopatra. Like Europatra online. A Cleopatra gold. Yes, please. Um These are all just modern things. I mean, this is not a modern thing, but... Um... In Cleopatra Cold. Cleopatra wig. Certainly, that's what the author meant. Alchemical knowledge hidden in Halloween costumes. Got it. We already looked at the Cleopatra article. Okay, let's try Cleopatra. Um, alchemy. Oh, there's a different Cleopatra. Cleopatra the Alchemist was a Greek alchemist, author, and philosopher. She experimented with practical alchemy, but is also credited as one of four female alchemists who could produce the Philosopher's Stone. Some consider her to be the inventor of the Alembic, a distillation apparatus. Cleopatra the Alchemist appears to have been active in Alexandria in the 3rd century or 4th century AD. She's associated with the school of alchemy typified by Mary the Jewess and Comarius. Alchemists use complex apparatus for distillation and sublimation. Mary the Jewess was an early alchemist known from the works of Zosimus of Panopolis and other authors in the Greek alchemical tradition. She lived between the 1st and 3rd centuries in Alexandria. She's considered the first true alchemist of the Western world. Mary believed that the metals had two different genders and by joining these two genders together a new entity could be made. Uh-huh. The Axiom of Maria. The following was known as the Axiom of Maria. One becomes two, two becomes three, and out of the third comes one as the fourth. Join the male and the female and you will see what is all. Well, we don't want to do this on stream. I think Twitch has something against me joining the male and the female on stream. Honestly, I think I think it, joining the male and the male would also not go well, and joining the female and the female... Maybe, maybe Twitch would allow that part, but... Uh... Uh, 
A Bane Marie, Mary's Bath. All right, but we wanted to learn about Cleopatra the Alchemist, sorry. Cleopatra is a pseudonym for an unknown author or group of authors. She's not the same person as Cleopatra the Seventh. You don't say. Nonetheless, she's referred to as Cleopatra, Queen of Egypt, in some later works. She's also conflated with Cleopatra, the physician. The two supposedly lived during the same time and are said to have similar styles in their writing, both having great imagery. Cleopatra is used as a character within the dialogue of the alchemical texts themselves. Aha, uh -huh, we have these weird things here. Okay, um, three alchemical texts related to Cleopatra survives. The text titled A Dialogue of Cleopatra and the Philosophers exists, but cannot be attributed to her. On Weights and Measures, Gold Making of Cleopatra. Uh huh. I think that's our text. And. A Dialogue of the Philosophers and Cleopatra. Cleopatra's use of imagery reflects conception and birth, the renewal and transformation of life. The philosopher alchemist who contemplates their work is compared to a loving mother who thinks about her child and feeds it. Mmm, feeding your baby, uh, lovers of a stone. But the Chrysopeia of Cleopatra. A single sheet document which contains only symbols, drawings, and captions, all of which are pictured below. It is first found on a single leaf in a 10th to 11th century manuscript in the Bibliotheca Marciana, Venice. The serpent eating its own tail, the Ouroboros. One is the serpent which has its poison according to two compositions, and one is all and through it all, and through it is all, and by it is all, and if you have not all, all is nothing. There's also a dibikos. I mean, dibikos would be great if that was a word here somewhere. Oh, let's see. Ah, it's all in Greek, though. It's all Greek to me. Yeah, it's also all Greek to me. Chrysopeia is gold making. Cleopatra's gold. So Cleopatra's gold is related to this. So this line about find Cleopatra's gold is related to Cleopatra the alchemist. Let's write that down just. Um, Cleopatra the alchemist. Famous female alchemist. Talked about gold making. And here, this was the emerald tablet, as above, so below, by Hermeticus Trismegistus, Hermes the Thrice Great. Ah.
All right, but we need to find... We need to find something in this work now that gives us something. <laughs> Man, these look like my research notes and nobody would be able to decipher what I meant in 2000 years from those. So somehow I'm not sure this is really useful. Oh, here are these symbols though. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this. Aha. Uh -huh. So this one has seven dots. This one has eight dots, this one has eight dots, this one has eight dots. Seven, eight, eight, eight. So then... Uh, let's mark this one. So maybe we need to do use this one. Um, somehow. Combine the diagram so that together they have eight dots. Is there such a way to combine them? I mean, there's exactly one diagram that has eight dots. Bottom, middle, and bottom right. I mean, yeah, they would have eight dots together. But then the, the one on the left, there's not enough here. Because there's nobody that's the opposite of this guy. And also this, like... Sure, there would be multiple... There need to be multiple combinations then. Possible. It's possible we have to do something like that, but um, once again, there's a lot of ways we can combine this. So we could do as you say. Other alternatively, we could rotate things, right? If you rotate something, then you can make it uh, uh, match things. Because, for example, if I if I rotate 180 degrees, then it might match even better, because then this one is exactly in the right spot. And similarly... Um, no, actually, for the other ones, it doesn't work so well, the rotating idea.
Also, I have not analyzed the inside yet. I've just thought, oh, these are fancy pictures. But probably there is a meaning there. Um, so here it's a triangle and a half circle. And then down here is like a progression, where it's like a full circle and a triangle. Here it's a square inside a square inside a square. Um, here it's a triangle and a circle and a square, if you want to say it like that. Here we could say it's two squares and a half circle. Here's a full circle and a square. And here are these lines. There's are, there are two of them that have like these strike through lines. Don't really appear anywhere else. This is like a triangle with a strike through line. And for example, we might now want to count the number of corners and see if we get the progression. Count the number of sides and see if we get the progression. Count the number of small areas, like how many in how many parts is it subdivided and get a progression. Um, count. Look at some kind of self similarity, because, for example, these points, these are small points here. This kind of reflects this rotational symmetry of this, this larger thing. And for example, what is the relationship between the top left, the right, and the bottom right? Because they look very similar in some sense, but they have subtle differences. Okay, so, um, let's think about the secret the Sphinx does hold. I want to look about, yeah, Hellenistic Egypt. Let's see if there's a Sphinx mentioned. Here on this page. No, there's no Sphinx. Okay. Alchemy Sphinx. Uh, Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel. Is that a book? The Sphinx here is holding nothing in this picture, and the Oedip Oedipus Aegypticus thing. She is not holding anything.
Okay, it is believed that the drawing of these star symbols and the crescent shapes above are the depiction of turning lead into silver. So this is turning lead into silver. So it's kind of spooky that she took an eight-pointed star, considering the modern importance of eight electrons to uh, chemistry. But hey, let's not get completely um, conspir conspiratorial, because that is certainly not the stream for this. Um, So yeah, Cleopatra's gold would probably be the perfection. That would be the eight-pointed star. Maybe. Next is secret the Sphinx does hold. Man, that is tough. A secret the Sphinx does hold. I need a hint. I need a hint. Also, that doesn't mean I want you guys to Google the solution. It just means... I need... That the text should give it should give me some hint. Um, so we have Zosimos and the, the secret the Sphinx does hold. Okay, let's just Google famous Sphinx paintings. None of these have a Sphinx. Not Spain. Sphinx. This is all of the real Sphinx. Okay, I need a Sphinx. Oh, Wiki Commons. Wiki Commons. Sphinx. Sphinxes. Can we just go through all of them? No, no, nope, nope. That that is a that is a chonky sphinx though. My god. That is a chonky sphinx. I'd still put it in my garden, but yeah, it's a chonky sphinx. Yeah, that is a chonky in a different way. These are just broken small pieces. So she is holding this thing. This, this image keeps reappearing. Is there a symbol that looks like this? A sphinx is a kind of centaur. No, it is not. You, you, you mean like why? Because you count the wings? Uh, 
Um, but back to my thinking here. Head of a human, body of an animal. Yeah, but the centaur has the upper body of a human. It's not just the head. Hmm. Swinge. I mean, the Sphinx is holding this symbol. Which, honestly, doesn't look like any of them. Except maybe the one with the Zoldimos. We've already identified Zosimos. Okay, let's, uh, nope. Let's continue. Oh, what do the Sphinxes hold here? That certainly is a Sphinx. Um, they don't hold anything, they just hold death. That Sphinx is drowning another Sphinx? Ex excuse me? Oh, this page uses this image. Well, that's a really useful feature. Thank you, Wikipedia. Half centaur. No, 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 no. That is a huge sphinx. Teddy Roosevelt as the sphinx stares down Napoleon. Okay. The Sphinx at the War Office. What is it with people making, like, Sphinxes? And being depicted in cartoons. Political cartoons, that is. Okay, we've looked through all the Sphinxes here. Um, Sphinxes in art. Let's look at sphinxes in art. Oh god, where's there's there's a sphinx here? I guess these women on the shields are sphinxes, yeah. Not sure. These all uh, look too new. Okay. Um. Sphinxes in paintings. Things is in post antique art. Okay, you know this is all a bit. Uh, was that a Bismarck Sphinx? No, I think it was always a Teddy Roosevelt Sphinx, but I'm not sure. No, 
I'm not sure about the Sphinx. I'm not sure about the Sphinx. It ends with a fire below, they say. Which kind of hints at like hell. Or Armageddon or something like that. Not Armageddon, but like Acharon or some of them. We finally have this book. We may see a Sphinx holding something here. Well, there are some of the... They kind of look similar to some of the shapes we're seeing. They're all in circles, not squares. Okay, here we go to some squares. Ugh, you can see like the print from the other side. This is like kind of kind of annoying. Okay, this is just a zodiac. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, more zodiac. This is a big book. like um the alchemical symbol for fire is a triangle pointing upward oh that is true that is true that still leaves actually several options here but it says fire below so it must be a triangle that is in the lower half no, isn't this a try? Isn't this the fire? Ooh, ooh, I need to double check this right now. Where's our sun gold page references? No, this is air. Ooh, the elements are here. Yes, the elements are hidden in these. But that's a very good thing to think about. Some of the elements are hidden in these symbols. But fire is a triangle pointing up. 
and there's a fire below. Uh, would mean a fire triangle pointing up that is low. But this is air, as far as I know. Fire should just be a triangle up, right? Chosra, that is another smart thing to have thought about. And here I'm just scrolling through this old book, looking at weird drawings of people. Oh, look, there's a Sphinx. I don't actually think she has anything for us, but there is a Sphinx. But there's also no hint to this book, so... I'm not gonna go after random Sphinxes in this one book that was, wasn't even referenced. Wait, is there another Sphinx here? No, that's a guy on a throne. Only top right. Hmm? Only top... Top right and middle right have fire in the symbol below them. Uh, yeah, that is true. So it could be top right. Or it could be middle right, yeah. But middle right is already picked. Hmm. So you would say maybe this is fire below. Actually. What a layer. We still need the Sphinx. We, we still need to find out which one is the Sphinx. Well, we can start. Let's let's actually start tackling the. Let's now start ta attacking the, the the substitution cipher. Let's just start attacking it and go from there. So, um, first is. The old Patras. Gold. So we have G, W, Z, X, M, A, C. Now I don't, the problem now is, uh, how do I break it? How do I make a cipher out of these blocks? For example, there's no T in this block. There's not the letter T in this block. Substitution 
substitution cipher. Here we go. One alphabetic substitution cipher. And we think it goes G, W, Z, X, M, A, S. Oh, no, sorry. No, we do think G, W, Z, X, M, A, C. Oh, excuse me. Maybe not every letter is part of the cipher. Some might be correct already. Um, maybe, but... Alright, let's... Uh, where, 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 where was it? Decrypt automatically. Oh, well... It just automatically found the substitution. This is why I didn't want to do this, but hey, here we are. Um, we can now try to figure out why this is true. Um... Well, yeah, it was, it was a simple substitution server. We could have just completely bypassed everything. But we can see that it kind of works. So G went to W. G is W. That's the that's this one. W is R. This is this one. Z is Y. X is X is G here though. Here it says X is G. But the correct one is. Actually, this doesn't matter, does it? This one doesn't matter. So if I say X is G... M is... Um, M is L, yep. A is P? No, A is C. A is C... And C is U. Okay, we have those. Next. Um, let's try the Zosimos one. U is K. U is indeed K. A is... I, I clicked the wrong button. I clicked decrypt automatically. I should have just clicked decrypt. We could have easily cracked this. Now U is K. A... Hmm, but you say A is Q. But A doesn't... Oh yeah, A is Q. A is Q. It was A is Q here, sorry. A is Q. Uh, A is Q. U is K. A is Q. E is T. Yep. B is Z. Okay, B is Z. Um, maybe something will even change. J is A. J is A. Yep. Y is O. Y is O. T is H. T is indeed H. Okay. Is the upper one correct? S is H. No, that is not correct. So, uh, our top right guess was not correct. It needs to be something... So, actually, we can exclude multiple ones. We now know how this roughly works. So, I'm just gonna do... Above is less below. So, if it's a substitution cipher, this one can't... Because of this one, this can't work. Same with here, because of um, M is mapped to two different things, this can't work. Um, A is Q. We know already A is Q, so... Um, uh... It looks like... This one is... It seems like this one we should have picked. Middle left cannot work because it has two sets. Aha, uh -huh, but I think the left and right sides don't matter. Um, we only look at the top and the bottom. As above, so below. These here are just to confuse us. I think. Because here, I is D. That works. N is N. That works. F is J. 
Uh, L is P. L is P. B is Z. Yeah, we have B is Z, for example, is a is a is a fit. Because here also B is Z here and B is Z here. Q is M. Q is M, okay. And V is C. V is C. Okay. Um what did I actually change there? L is P? Yeah, I changed L is P. What was L before? Is there a double P now? Oh, I don't know. Middle cannot work as it has JJ. Just having fire in them below them seems to be it. Yeah. But are these all the letters? Okay, let um no, let's let's remove everything again. I just wanna test if these were all the letters. Sorry. Sorry for you guys. I just wanna know I just wanna know which one the Sphinx one is, and I wanna reverse engineer what the riddle was. So, we said A, we have A is Q, we have a B, right? B is Z, C is U, D is... We don't have a D, for example. We don't have a D, I think. And yeah, we don't have a D. We have E is T. We have F is J, we have um, G is W, don't have an H, I think, nope, no H, I, no I, no, we have an I, I is D, um, J is A, K is, don't know K, L is P, M is L, N is N, O we don't know, P we don't know, Q we know is M, R, man this text is awful at this stage. I would not have been sure that this is the right way. He is in top left. Yeah, well... We don't know if top left is included. Right? We don't know if top left is included. If it has fire. Yeah, but so has the bottom right. We've already included... I've added the bottom right because I thought the bottom right is... Um, I thought the bottom right was the fire below. S, we don't know. T is H. U is K. V is C. W is R. Um, it, it has to be the top left. It doesn't make any sense that it's anything else. Um, X is G. Y is O. Z is Y. Yeah, so we can see, but actually difficult. So it has to be also by exclusion, and we don't know why. I don't know why yet. This I don't know why which one this one is supposed to be. So for me, for the bottom right one is is the fire below. The left one is Zosimos. The right one is Cleopatra's gold. So this must be the secret of the Sphinx. So there is maybe Horus. Barpe or Sparpe or uh, Hefebofer. 
no clue, can I? The Sphinx is in front of a pyramid, and the top shows the pyramid schematic. But there's a pyramid here as well, and there's a pyramid here as well. And there's a pyramid with like a thing, like a line through it here as well. I sure hope the sequel to the Sphinx is not... Yeah, it's a triangle and a half circle. I, I sure hope there's more to it. There must be, there, maybe there's a word here that I'm, that I just don't know. Like, R spar, like, ross, os, par, par, spar, pe, beef, os. Or spar, pe, or something, something like that, maybe. Um, so this would tell us that K is X, that O is B, yeah, it tells us basically almost anything we need. D is V, H is S, oh, this is actually the super important one. R is F, and S is E, and E is super important. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, we didn't really crack it. We didn't really crack it. We reverse engineered the end. And actually, this was such a simple monoalphabetic substitution that this automatic cracker, he just automatically decrypted it. I didn't even want to do that. I feel bad for having clicked decrypt all of automatic. Uh, I want to just decrypt. I wanted to try this. Not hey. This is how it goes. I should have used the tool. I should have just opened the tool. You cheater. No, this is not cheating. This this is a cryptographic game. Everything's fair game, as far as I'm concerned. Which are yet to be unveiled. Alright, let's let's write that down. Which are yet to be unveiled. Oh, is that actually how it's written? No, that's not how it's written, is it? To be unveiled. I think this is unveiled. If further. If further. Line break. Mysteries. Mysteries written with an I. Mysteries you seek then. Weird. Mysteries is written wrongly. Auto decrypt is fair game. Uh, it's just a brute force attack on all the substitution ciphers. It's it cannot like we had enough cases where it did not, in fact, auto decrypt. This is the first time this has worked. Like, um, this is the first time this button has worked. Usually it just produces garbage and it's just an annoyance that it's the first button and not the second. The decrypt button is the... Oh, anyway. Um, which are yet to be unveiled the further mysteries you seek then. And I'm going to make a question mark here. I'm going to make... And I'm going to write a little bit text here so we remember what we did. Um, Sphinx? Question mark? And then we're gonna say this here is yeah that's Zosimos. This is Leo. This here is the fire below. And this one yeah this one was Zosimos. We're gonna put that. We're gonna put it here. Why not? And maybe copy you. Let me remember this.
Paste this plain text. Nope, it doesn't work. Um. Okay, let's just... Let's take a picture then. Put a picture here. Okay. Let's mark this off. This was a simple oops, substitution cipher. Okay, with that, we have five out of seven pages done, but I'm going to stop here because I need to eat dinner. So, thank you very much for your help. We've had several good hints that came through, and Chosra was on fire today. And we solved the Mercury page. We kind of solved the Silver page. Actually, on the Mercury page, we are still not sure... No, in the end we were sure, like, we were, we, we kind of figured it out, it was just very weird to figure it out, but on this one, I'm not sure why this is the Sphinx, uh, one, the top, top one. It says, Kshaturpo Rusparpe Sesvip Hefe Bofel. And if you know which one of those is a Sphinx, or if there's a symbol here that's a Sphinx, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to eat now, and I deserve food. And um, I will hopefully be back on Monday with more streams. Or maybe a sneaky more tomorrow afternoon stream, but I don't think so. Once the game is over, we can look up a Sphinx and a guy. That is true. We should do a looking everything up at the end of the stream. So we'll do that. We'll do that if we once we finish the game. But that is not today. Today is over. Uh, so have a nice evening, everybody. And take care. Oh, right. And uh, is anybody streaming? Anybody streaming? Let me have a look. We have several options, actually. So, let's go to Bane. So I like Bane's voice when I cook. 